cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my Cajun smothered turkey wings. Yes ma'am and yes sir. So look if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and let's jump right into it. Alright guys so to get this show on the road honey we have to start off with some turkey wings. These are turkey wings they're not whole wings it's just the wing and I have about six of them. I've already cleaned them and patted them dry and right here I have an injector. Now look, this came with the bottle that I purchased. It's a Zatarin's Creole Garlic um, Seasoning. And the injection, the injector syringe comes with it, like I said. But if you have one already, you can put your own seasoning in there. But I'm using it this kind. And y'all, I love this. It's actually very delicious. It's a little bit on the sweet side, so I do have to add some salt to it. But um, that's, that's up to you, okay? But look, y'all, you're going to take each one of your wings and you are going to perform surgery, okay? Well, matter of fact, you finna get these wings some plastic surgery, some BBLs and all of that good stuff, okay? Y'all know that's popular now. Getting you a BBL ain't, it ain't nothing to it, right? So look, go ahead and inject them turkeys and give them some big old booties. Y'all see that? Give them some good flavor. And y'all, that's it. All, that's all you gotta do for right now. Now look, if it comes out on the side, that's all right. It's just gonna waste on the wing and it's just gonna give it more flavor. But you wanna try to inject it into the actual flesh, okay? I like to put it in the flesh and also underneath the skin. It does get messy. If you want to use gloves, you can. But y'all, that's what we got kitchen sinks for. We can wash our hands. It's okay. But um, just make sure you do not stick yourself. That um syringe, the needle on that syringe is very sharp. And um, it will stick you. And, I mean, you're dealing with meat. I mean, it could cause infection. So you have to be careful. All right? But look, once you get all of your wings injected, I'm doing this in a bowl. You can do it in wherever you're going to do it. I like to do it in a bowl. Um, just set them to the side because then we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so now that you have all of your wings injected, Honey, if you thought we weren't going to season these bad boys, you thought wrong, okay? We're not done. So look, grab you a large size pan, something that can snugly fit all of these turkey wings, but not spill over if once it, you know, accumulates all those good juices, okay? This is about a 9 by 13. It's actually almost a tad bit too small, but it did fit every single wing, so it's okay. But I would recommend to go a little bit larger depending on how much you're using or um, how big your wings are, okay? So look, I'm just placing my wings into this um, into this bowl here, or pan rather, and I'm gonna start seasoning it up. I have two tablespoons of paprika. The paprika is really just to give that gravy some, some good color because the gravy, we doing the cheap gravy, it's yellow. We don't want no yellow sauce on the wings, okay? So I'm putting some paprika in here so we can have some extra color because we want nice color. All right, now, after you add your paprika on, you're gonna go in next with some garlic powder. You can add one to two tablespoons. You can do one tablespoon for the whole thing or one tablespoon on each side. It's up to you, honey. However your taste buds say, whatever they prefer, that's what you're gonna do, all right? So make sure you kinda get it on the other side as well. It doesn't have to be direct contact because baby, all this stuff gonna mix together, okay? But look, we're doing one to two tablespoons of onion powder because why not? You gotta have that in there as well. Y'all know if you got garlic, you got the onion. Come on, stop playing, okay? So look, we're also gonna go in with one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Now you wanna be careful on the salt because we are using um, condensed soup, okay? So look, next, we're gonna go in with one can of cream of chicken soup. Y'all, this recipe is very similar to my Cajun chicken recipe, okay? If you try my smothered Cajun chicken, it's almost identical, all right? We're just using turkey wings because you guys ask, so guess what? I'm gonna bring it to you, all right? I suppose Ben put this out a long time ago, sorry. But here we go. You're just gonna spread that all over those turkey wings. If you want to use two cans, you can but you may want to use a bigger pan because it will definitely spill over. So please keep that in mind, okay? 
y'all this is so messy um if you don't like making a mess please put on some gloves but i'm telling y'all we got kitchen sinks for a reason okay we can wash our hands all right i ain't never seen my grandma put on no glove i don't know what y'all talking about now look we're just smothering that all over those turkey wings just getting it mixed up as you can see the color is kind of changing that's because of that paprika baby we're gonna make it look real good right so once you get that in make sure you rinse that fork off real good you put some soap on it all right put it in the sink and now we're gonna move on to the next step we're gonna start adding in our peppers and our onions and our butter because why not okay i mean it is smothered turkey wings so i'm gonna go in with the onions first i just have some onions that have been chopped up or actually sliced rather and um you can put those in there if you choose to if not you can leave them out it's up to you i'm also gonna add in some green bell pepper they have also been chopped up um it doesn't have to be any specific way just just chop them up honey we're also gonna add in red bell pepper because that's gonna give it some nice color you know same flavor but different color we gotta have our aesthetic there all right i know y'all know that by now here i'm adding in some butter this is about maybe a little bit under a half stick of butter so about a quarter stick of butter that i've just chopped up into small pieces and i'm just adding that in there for some additional flavor insurance and i almost forgot my black pepper so here we go we're putting it on top you can add as much as you like or as little as you like that's about a teaspoon okay so we're going to cover this with aluminum foil and once you get it nice and covered make sure it's sealed very tightly all the way around the edges we are going to bake it at 375 for one hour and 30 minutes. I put mine on a pan because I don't want nothing wasting in my oven, okay? And after that hour and 30 minutes, honey, carefully remove the foil from the pan. Please be careful, y'all. It's hot, okay? And look at that, honey. Look at that. Now, covering it first cooks the wings through, okay? But you see, they, they lacking a little color. So we're gonna have to cook them a little bit more and they're a little gummy. See, we don't like that around here, okay? So look, I'm just gonna spoon some of that good juice on top, okay? And after you get it nice and coated, we're gonna take this and put it back in the oven, uncovered at the same temperature for another 30 minutes. You cook it any longer, it's gonna be dry, okay? And look at that. You see how I got that color on there? Honey, girl, and y'all know where to go great with this? my dressing honey it don't have to be thanksgiving for you to cook turkey wings and dressing do y'all hear me this is a sunday in february honey we gonna cook these turkey wings all right so look let's go ahead and plate it up And there you have it guys. Look at that, our delicious, juicy, flavorful, tender <laughs> turkey wings, honey. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is a family favorite, everybody for Thanksgiving love these. And like I said, it does not have to be Thanksgiving for you to cook some turkey wings, honey. Go grab you a pack, they are cheap. You can get you a pack out the stove and honey, go for it, all right? But look, I wanna thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for supporting my channel. And if you try this recipe out, let me know down in the comments. Let me know how it goes. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.